She got it, you. That's right. I got you, Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. The ladies of Sex in the City are back, minus Samantha. Um, and a first look of the much anticipated Sex in the City follow up has arrived. It's a 10 part series called And Just Like That. Sarah. Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon, and Kristen Davis have all reunited. The new series will see characters deal with the complicated reality of life and friendship in their 50s with help from some returning faces like Mr. Big, Chris Noth, and uh, Mario Cantone, as well as cast members like Sarah Ramirez. Those are new cast members. And Sarita Cloudhurry also giving it some more diversity that it famously lacked in the first time around. And um, don't worry, it all fits in with the same beloved tone of the show. The clothes are to die for. Oh, yeah, the fashion is fabulous. And uh, there's still a lot of sex in this version of Sex in the City. The series will also see the final screen appearance of Willie Garson, who played Stanford, who passed away in September at the age of 57. And Just Like That premieres on HBO Max on December 9th. Make sure you look out for it. You can see the trailers online. And Sarah and Jessica Parker is actually reprising her role as well along with Bette Midler and Kathy Najimy in Hocus Pocus 2, the horror comedy sequel um, from 1993, the Halloween cult classic. Remember Hocus Pocus? Yes. So they'll be back and that will premiere on Disney Plus next fall. Um, speaking of movies, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell put the old switcheroo on Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel last night. Hilarious. I absolutely love these two actors and uh, of course they've got an upcoming movie but they were each on, slotted on these different talk shows to promote theirs. Um, Will Ferrell showed up on Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' spot on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Um, where Jimmy Kimmel was going to be asking him questions, obviously, about himself, Ryan Reynolds. But, of course, being Will Ferrell, um, it was pretty funny because <laughs> he was supposed to be promoting the new action flick, Red Notice, Netflix uh, debut, Getting Ready with Dwayne Johnson and Gail Gatto. Um, and, of course, Will Ferrell has not seen it. So he couldn't answer any of the questions. <laughs> he said, I saw the billboards. They're wearing tuxedos, so you know it's going to be classy, right? Um, and he also talked about his wife, Blake Lively, uh, her oatmeal and nacho cooking skills showed off his physique and uh, some French rap skills. He's so funny. Meanwhile, at the same time, Ryan Reynolds was over in Will Ferrell's slot over on Jimmy Fallon, where he was welcomed by the Roots crew. And um, also they uh, did one of the most famous for um, Ferrell as Saturday Night Live sketches as well. Um, he then pitched Ferrell's new Apple TV Plus series with Paul Rudd and Katherine Hahn called The Shrink next door and he called Paul Rudd the nicest human being in all of show business um, he's aging backwards because of his contact with Satan and he only drinks breast milk from a blue whale Kind of sounds like uh, Deadpool was talking right there. Um, and, of course, uh, he also said that the new show is part of the Ant-Man universe. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, of course, uh, Farrell and Reynolds just recently finished filming the new musical adaption of A Christmas Carol for Apple Plus TV. So it's going to be interesting. It's called Spirited. I can't wait to see these two <laughs> singing and acting. And, by the way, Ron Reynolds said that's it. He's done. After this last one, he will not be hitting the screen screen anymore. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Friday. Make sure you lock it in again on Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.